Big Cook, Little Cook. Weekdays at 6.20 here on CBeebies. <laughs> Yummy. I say. I'm Jay and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. Now what shall I use today? Some paints. Now take a look at these. We've got some fantastic yellow, some blue and some red. And what I'm going to do is put them out onto this paper plate. Let's start with the yellow. some red and some blue look at that with these three colors I can make any color I want look I'll show you first of all with some yellow and blue if I drag it out start mixing it It makes green. I'll show you with another colour. With red and yellow, I drag it out, mix it, it makes orange. And last of all, with the blue and the red it makes purple look I've got blue yellow red purple green and orange now look what happens when I add some water you get lots more and you can also make it lighter or darker by adding more red or yellow and with the green I'm going to add more water and I can make it go lighter by adding more yellow or darker with more blue lovely and finally with the purple that's with the water and more blue makes it go darker and more red makes it go brighter easy peasy hmm what do you think why don't you try mixing some colored paints and see what happens Today we've been mixing colours and doing hand prints. Would you like to see what we've made? Let's look at the Smartini's gallery. What a beautiful bird. Here's how we made it. Hands up, who wants to do some colour mixing? Oh, Maeve, what are your favourite colours? Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Give me a hand then. Outstretch. And what we're going to do is cover your hand in blue paint. I want red. You want to do red, all oh, right. But you don't have to just paint your hand like that. There's another way. 
Try your other hand now. Did you say yellow? Yeah. Spread your hand out. And uh, stick it in the paint and lift it up. Let's have a look. Oh my word. Now what will happen if you rub your hands together? Do that. Rub them together. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Hands that way. It's all gone green, hasn't it? How about if we did some hand prints with those green hands? Straight down on the paper. Don't move them, keep them really still. And lift them up again. Wow, look at those hand prints. That's brilliant. So, who wants to have a go now? Me. Yeah? All right then, we better get Me. busy. I look like I've got gloves on. My hands are stuck to the paper. What's that like, Maeve? Tickling. Does it tickle? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you shake Megan's hand? <laughs> it's going to make ready? purple. Yeah. Should we have a look? <laughs> when our handprints were dry, we cut them out and made a picture with them. This is going to look like the same size as your hand, isn't it, Rafi? Yeah. Yeah. Push it down so it's nice and firm. Make sure your fingers are the right way around, Megan. Turn it round a bit more. Press them down. And let's have a look. We used our handprints as the feathers of this very colourful bird and all those colours were great fun to make. What time is it now? Tidy up time! Off you go then. Until next time. Bye bye. Kirsten here and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. Oh, shoes? Oh, I see. Shoes have got lots of patterns on the bottom of them, on the sole. I like patterns. I like looking at them and I like making them. Look at this pattern. Lots of lines. Can you see going across the bottom of this shoe? And let's have another look. This one has got a pattern on the inside of it. Lots of flowers in there. And let's have a look at the pattern on the back. There are love hearts on there, lots of big love hearts and some smaller ones as well, making up that pretty pattern. And this shoe has got a cartoon character on it. But if you look very, very closely, there are triangles everywhere, lots of different sizes, making up the pattern. Have a look at the bottom of your shoes and see what patterns are there. These shoes are all old and I think I could make a pattern using the shoes on this white paper. Let's have a look. Oh, this looks good. I think I'll start with this shoe with lots of waves on it. I've got some paint here. I'm going to dab it in the blue paint. There we go. Now, let's see what happens when I print might have to press quite hard. Ooh. Look at that. I do want that side. A nice wavy pattern with that shoe. Now, what else shall I use? What about... Ooh, this one here. It's got very thick, straight lines on it. Let's see what happens when I print with this. What about red paint? Nice, bright red Get the shoe in there and just I might just smooth it around with my finger like that smooth it all on and now let's see what happens press there oh and there that's getting good isn't it I'm gonna do a bit more red 
smooth it all around and do some at the top like that. Now, what about using this pair of shoes? They've got lots of little lines on there. I'm going to use these two together, perhaps in the yellow paint like that. Perhaps if I rub it together, see what happens when I do that. Now, there we go. I can press around the edge and finish my pattern off. Lovely. If you're going to try this, make sure the shoes you use are old and nobody needs them anymore. Dinosaur! Hey, let's make our own dinosaur. Let's draw our own dinosaur. Look, <laughs> I'll show you. If we just do this, and then down, whoop, and across, give them the thumbs up, do some big feet like that, spiky toes. There's his leg, whoop. Spiky teeth. Whoa. Wow. And there's our dinosaur. Woo! Big picture! Oop. Oh! Yeah. Small picture. Right, let's give them some colour. Now, I've cut up these different shapes of sponge, and if I just dab them in the paint, look. Spot, 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 look at that. You get a great dino skin. Dino skin? Dino skin, dinosaur skin, that's what that is. <laughs> Actually, let me use another little piece. Oh, look, a little bitty piece. Oh, sweet. Come here. <sighs> yes, big dino prints, look. <sighs> All over him. Oi! <laughs> Great! Woo! Big picture! Oh, what? <laughs> ah, yes! Oh, no, small. Small picture, right. Light green, dark green. Another bit of sponge, look. Lovely. Just go all under his tummy like that. Down by his leg. Wow, this is great fun. A little bit over his, over his eyes like that. And to finish with, we'll just give him some nice dinosaur googly eyes. There. Finished! <laughs> Big picture! Oh. <laughs> Finished! <laughs> Small picture. Big picture!